few years ago, I was in charge of girls camp and my one thing we did for the girls is we wanted all their parents to write a really cute note and put it in a lunch sack and put their favorite chocolate in there. And the young women's president at the time thought it would be really great if all the husbands did it for the leaders. So I didn't know my husband was going to do that for me and I'm really nervous for some reason. Um, so. My husband, on his way home from work, got a cute card and my favorite chocolate, and he went to the, through the, the young woman's president's house to give it to her, but she wasn't there. So he just parked in front of the house next door that was for sale, and he thought, I'll just sit here and write her a note. And, and he wrote me a nice note, and the young woman's president came home and he gave it to her. So when he was leaving, the lady next door that the house was for sale was yelling and screaming at him. and chased him through the neighborhood and he was like what is wrong and he was afraid to come home because he didn't know why this lady was yelling and screaming at him and he took a back road and finally got home and I didn't know any of this was going on I was getting the van ready for girls camp and he comes home and I'm like how was your day and he's like it was really bad I don't want to talk about it and I was like okay I got girl stuff to do so I'm like he'll want to talk about him later I got Dutch ovens I got to get packed up so like a half hour later a policeman comes to our house and asks him where has he been, what's he been doing, and I'm standing there with like the Dutch oven and the sleeping bags, and I'm like, what is going on? And, and my husband continues to explain to the police officer what had happened, and he didn't know why that lady was yelling at him, and come to find out that lady, the realtor had been stalked by someone, and so that lady who was selling the house thought that my husband was stalking, waiting for the realtor, and I was like, this is what happened, this was your bad day at work, you didn't tell me? And he's like, well, I wanted it to be a surprise, I wanted the note to be a surprise, and it was just crazy. And then that night when I got the note from him that he had written an hour the day earlier, the very first line said, I'm sitting here waiting at a parked in a parked car thinking about you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I know what's going to happen to you in the next hour. So they thought he was a stalker. <laughs>